Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As we continue to honor our black history this month, we know we have always been a people who love celebrating our heritage and tradition with, guess what? Good food, Maybe some right? Good food, good food, okay. And up next, we have our amazing friend to the show and celebrity hey, chef, Ms. Choir. chef Kim. How you doing, baby? And what we're doing today, we're gonna honor and celebrate black history through some recipes that your grandmother has passed yeah, down so to you. Yeah, so what we're doing today, we're gonna go right into it. This is one of um, a recipe that is so, you know, in my family, you know catfish. Oh, fried the people catfish, like catfish. Put it right into a po' boy, top it with a fried mm. green tomato, and that's what really makes it special that's to my good. family. Because my grandmother, she grew up in Mississippi on a catfish farm. Oh, did so, she? So, yeah, it makes it really, really special. So, these have already been seasoned with a little pink Himalayan salt, okay. some crushed black pepper, okay. and we're going to go right into a seasoned cornmeal, okay. which is seasoned with the same thing, but a little Cajun seasoning. Oh, I like and that. And we're just going to go right into it today, because we don't really have that much time okay. to sit here and do all of that. Mm -hmm. But you want to make sure you, you want to make sure you, you season it well on both sides. And these are and catfish dress. filets. Filets, by the way, yes, yes, so. yes. They're boneless. Boneless. So, okay. and this is so, it's so, 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 so important to me yeah. because it's like I got my start of cooking with my grandmother. With your grandmother. And that's exactly how, you know, I wouldn't be here without her or any of her recipes. And this is one of the first well, things, you thank know. Thank God for grandmother's <laughs> recipes. <laughs> so, so that's this is one you of the and your grandmother. Things, yeah. and, and I know you all have a very tight knit, yeah, close yeah, relationship. Yeah. I know that. What are some of the things that you think about? Um, now that your grandmother taught you when you were younger? Uh, boy, don't overseason that food. <laughs> <laughs> don't overseason that So make sure that you find ways to incorporate flavor, just not with seasonings. Mm. But you know, instead of adding extra seasonings to make the sandwich pop, use a fried green tomato. Because well, I can't what wait the to have a fried green tomato. And she tells me that it adds acidity to it. Mm. And you always want to have a balance with the fattiness of the catfish. Are there any the, fried green tomatoes that's already there, ready? We have one ready right here if you okay. want to go I'm, ahead I'm and I'm sorry, and it's the way it's set up, I'm just going to. So you take your fried green tomato, when mm. your tomato, ooh, that looks good. That is really good. And then you want to dip it in some buttermilk. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go, ooh, buttermilk. Oh, damn, this yeah. tomato is everything. The, you know, it's mm -hmm. everything, baby. It's it everything really is. Ever imagine. And, and it's we, crispy and it's spicy, but the juice of the tomato is still there. And I love the texture of it. You don't lose it. It's oh, not mushy. Baby. So fried green tomatoes are better. You want to make sure you cut Ooh, it about a, a so quarter really like of an inch thick to make sure you get a nice good crunch on mm -hmm. it. And we're going to take that right in the same pot where that catfish oh, is. Oh, you put it in the fish in the grease. Same, in the same one with the, the fish grease because you want to still incorporate some of that flavor of that Cajun fish in the tomato. Because you know most black folks, they don't really like tomato like that. Oh, so I this is something that she taught me that you do and it, it really, really helps you, you know, with the flavor. It's it's a really good Baby, tomato, by the way. It, it, very very spicy, so good. very spicy. So listen, you want to cook this to a yes. golden brown, right? Yes, ma'am. So it'll take you about two to three, three minutes. Okay, you have heat. hoagie buns. Yeah, Let's so we have some hoagie buns, and what mm -hmm. we could do is start to assemble our sandwich. All right, let's And my do grandma that. like to keep it simple. So we like to take some romaine lettuce mm -hmm. because romaine has all of the nutrition. It has mm -hmm. the fiber. It has those things that we need to help us digest. I like grandma's hands. Then we got some fresh pickles right here, mm -hmm. right on top of right there. We got some onion, just yellow onion. Uh huh. She loves to do onion on everything. You know, we, we onion stuff down, child. Mm -hmm. And then we got some uh, some Kobe Jack cheese. Oh, that Kobe Jack cheese is gonna be See, amazing. I like to add, use the Kobe Jack with the the pepper in it. The Kobe mm. pepper Jack mm. is my favorite because it adds just a little bit. Can we get some fried fish on there? Yeah, we're gonna get some fried fish right on there. So I like to sit that down right this there. So good. And add just a little bit of tomato because mm -hmm. we. We have fresh tomato and fried green tomato, baby, because you need all of that flavor that's going to be in there. My sisters are coming in just a second. My sisters going to come in, and then you know I like, a, like spicy. a little spicy. So I put just a little mm -hmm. bit piece of sriracha sure. down up in there. Hey, ladies, how y'all doing? <laughs> and I figured we might run over on time, so. Would you do me a favor and go ahead and pass yes, those sandwiches? I, I have some sandwiches for you ladies already. The fried green tomato is absolutely amazing. One for thank you, thank my you, love. You. Then we'll get one right over to you. We Ms. have a Trina. spritzer of some sort down there, Kim. Yes. What's going on there? So one thing that I just learned, you know, it's Black History Month, so I've been trying to learn and you know and, mm. and stay abreast is that mm -hmm. using a mm. champagne or a brute Sparkling mm. wine actually helps with the digestion mm. of fried food. Mm. So it's the perfect mixture to wash down mm -hmm. and to, you know, to you keep that going down. So I want you to bite into that and tell me what you think uh, while we still frying and this I'll fish up right this. here. Mm -hmm. This sandwich is absolutely amazing. I love the smokiness of the cheese. Mm. It's See, definitely the heightens the flavor of it. Yeah, it shows so you the, the network of flavors because we want to create a network every time that we're eating. We don't want it to just be, you know, just bland right. and boring. Well, Good. nothing's going to be bland and boring <laughs> as long as we have Chef Cam around. And for more recipes just like this, follow him Toast on all his social media ladies. platforms at Cooking with Cam. Yes.